This shit better be focused, cause bruh. 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 Some people, they may envy you. Follow you on Insta just to pre you. The way that go chat rubbish, chat rubbish. The way that go spoil your name behind you. You buy one thing, they go on buy two. Always making sure that they're better than you. I swear to God, I'm always texting. Like, it's an addiction. Like, bruh. It's your girl Grace. If you need my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you are a returning viewer, subscriber, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be doing a story time about my fuckboy ex boyfriend. I haven't done a story time in a while, so this story time is just a great story time to start off my story time series, I guess. So, my fuckboy ex boyfriend, which we shall not call him a name, his name this entire video will be Fuckboy, was dating me while he had an 18 year old girlfriend, a side thing, and a baby mom's who's four months pregnant for him. Isn't that great? Y'all see that? One, two, three, four, like. Four, really, I'm gonna get four. But without further ado, let me start with this video, okay? So when I came home from school, or whatever, I was just chilling. I didn't want to be in a relationship. I was just, you know, hanging out, going out on dates, and just ex exploring my horizons, exploring my option and expanding my horizons. Guess what? You get what I mean by that? So I was just chilling, and two twos. Um, I went out on a couple of dates. It was all right. It wasn't too bad. I can't complain. Um, they were not my type, they had other priorities and it just wasn't fit fitting my loving, amazing lifestyle. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, let me just chuck my juices to those and just, you know, relax and just have fun. So whatever, like just a couple of weeks after my birthday, I went out to lunch or grab dinner with one of my girlfriends and went shopping after so we went to a mall and when we were leaving the mall, I saw the most honestly I thought he was so beautiful like yeah he looked he was just like a chocolate like just so chocolate and like he had a nose piercing which is really weird because I have nose piercing too but like I just thought he was so cute like he was just really really cute mind you he's 25 year old and he has a seven year old son okay his son has nothing to do with his son has nothing to do with this whole thing but let me just get that out there so that's how old he is and anybody who knows me knows I'm 21 so he's like four five years older than me now but before like four years older than me but whatever so pretty much what had happened was that day when I first saw him I was like oh my god he is so cute and I just kept like watching him as he walked by and I had the biggest smile on my face because I thought he was just so handsome and he gets to the end of like the path of the mall he turns around and he looks at me and he does this and I was like <laughs> okay he wants a little some of this all right true so me being me I walk towards him or whatever and I went to him and he introduced himself and then and then he asked for my number and I was like oh okay so I gave him my number or whatever and then he didn't give me his he told me his name which I shall not mention and he asked me where I was from and I said oh I'm from Toronto whatever and he said he's from so-and-so but like he's still from the greater Toronto area so he pretty much just like told me where he was from or whatever so after we exchanged number we both chucked our juices and went about our way so later that night somebody like facetimed me with the email address I didn't know who was because I don't have that email address saved as a contact on my phone and then the next day he texted me and then he called me on FaceTime my girlfriend that same girlfriend stayed the night at my house so cuz it was the 30th of June and Canada Day we were gonna like you know go out and do and just have fun and just turn up cuz you know that's what we do on Canada Day so me and her had a sleepover at my house or whatever and when he FaceTimed me she was over so he was all like FaceTiming us all day and mind you I looked a hot mess like I had a bonnet on, my hair was in flexi rod, no eyebrows, no makeup, nothing. Like, I looked a hot mess. But he still thought I was really cute. Like, he still complimented me and whatnot. So that day, I don't know where I went. I think I went upstairs. Like, we were talking on FaceTime for like a good four hours. I think I left the conversation to go upstairs to go talk to my mom about something. And my girlfriend had told me, like, he knew him from somewhere, but she, he didn't remember when. And then, 
excuse me, when she remembered, she said she knew him because they went like clubbing one time, I guess when I was at school, and like they got into like a local one-to argument, like play fighting and whatnot, and he broke her chain, right? And also, he was at that point when he broke her chain, he was also trying to talk to one of her other girlfriends, which is like, okay, whatever. So I asked her like, did they like have a thing? He's like, no, I was like, okay, because if they had a thing, I'm gonna respect that because she's also one of my friends. So like, I don't want that to be like, you know, why are you dating somebody I went out with? You guys get, you get what I mean? by that all right so I just like talked to him or whatever so that same day which is also July the 1st he was like talking to us all day on FaceTime and they were like cracking jokes and whatnot like he's so nice and everything and then that day I would like I was saying I went to go help my mom out with something when I came down he was like yo um she needs to tell you something I was like what he was like mute the conversation so I mute the FaceTime conversation and she was like yo he wants me to convince you to be his girlfriend and I was like his girlfriend. I've only known this nigga for 24 hours, but I really don't care. We'll see how it goes. I'm a rebel. I like taking chances. I got nothing to lose. So you know what? Why not? I ain't got shit to lose. Let's get this going. So I was like, all right, we gonna, you know, we gonna see how this goes. We gonna see how. So I was like, we gonna see how this goes or whatever, and just you know, let's see what happens if anything happens. So that night, my girl and I went to like a club, and he showed up. He showed up like with one of his boys and like he introduced me to his friends as his, as his girlfriend and like it got to a point where he tried to kiss me and I was like, um, what are we doing here? Keep your lips to yourself and I'll keep my lips to myself. I haven't known you for that long and you're rushing things really fast. And then that same night he asked me to come to his house with him and I was like, bro, like I just met you. Why am I going home with you? Like this ain't a one night stand. No, I'm not going home with you. And he got really upset about it. And I was like, well, I'm not going home with you because my girlfriend's staying over at my house, so I'm not going home with you. And then the next day, so that day was a Friday. The Saturday, he came over after he was done work. He took me and my girlfriend to go get her nose pierced downtown. I don't know if you guys has watched my nose piercing video. That's the guy I'm talking about. The vlog that I made about the nose piercing vlog. I, I had to put it on private because he told me to take it down because his hoes seen him on it. So when we were together, he had to told me to take it down, so I just put it on private. But now that we're not even in a relationship no more, I'm gonna be petty as fuck and probably put that video up, but who knows. So he was in that nose piercing vlog. For the people who see it, you're lucky, so you know what I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about to be exact. So like he took us downtown Toronto, got her nose pierced or whatever, and then he told me to come with him to his place. I was like, you know what, whatever, you got not not gonna shut up about it, so why not? Can you guys believe I went to this man's house? <laughs> I was on my period and this man fucking tried to hump me like <laughs> I am so serious like I'm not fucking 12 I'm not 11 I'm a grown ass woman why are you trying to dry hump me what are you <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing but it's so funny like what are you doing why are you trying to dry hump me whatever he got mad at me because I wouldn't have any sexual intercourse with him. I'm like, bro, I've only known you for so long. I'm not gonna have anything sexual relation with you. Like, no, just no. Like, it's just not gonna happen. Don't get mad. It's just not gonna happen. So, he caught feelings or whatever. And like, every time I was with him and my phone went off, it could be like my girlfriend texting me or my best friend texting me. He'd get mad. He'll think it's some nigga. And it'd be like, okay, then don't talk to me. Go talk to your other hoes. I'm like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I am too fucking grown for this. You don't pay my phone bills. You don't pay my fucking school tuition. You don't pay shit. You don't take care of me. So you can't tell me who to talk to and who not to talk to. Let's get that all cleared up. And he got really offended by it. It was like, you can't be talking to other mans while we're in a relationship. I'm like, I'm not talking to other mans while you're in a relationship. Anyways, through the whole relationship, everything was just so toxic. Like, it was the worst month of my life. Like I was in a relationship for some, with somebody for one month and I literally really wanted to kill myself like it was so bad Nothing I did made this guy happy like and then it got to the point where he told me he loved me like I've only known you for three weeks What do you mean you love me? Like you don't love me. You do not love me. You don't even love yourself. What do you mean you love? Nick, you don't love me. Fuck out of here. And then the worst thing about the whole relationship was he got mad at me because I've only known him and been with him for two weeks and I, he wanted me to introduce him to my mom. Nigga, my, my mama. Oh, hell no. No, no, that was not gonna happen. I was not gonna introduce to my mom. I was in a relationship with somebody for almost three years and he didn't even meet my mom until like a year and a half in a relationship. So what makes you a priority to meet my mom 
two weeks into our relationship. No, you're not even close to meeting fam. Anyways, I just was not happy in the relationship. I was annoyed. I was fucking pissed. Everything was just never right. All we did was argue. It was like argument over argument. He was so childish, so immature, and all he wanted to do was just be mean. Like, it got to the point where there was one time we were arguing and he pushed me. Like, he pushed me against the wall. I'm like, don't fucking touch me. Like, if you want, me and you can square the fuck up right now and you can cast his hands. Do not touch me. My mama don't touch me. My daddy don't touch me. Do not put your hands on me. Got it? And he apologized about it. And he even got to the point where I had to get my friends my friend to come pick me up and take me home like and she brought her stepdad with her because she was worried that he won't let me go home so i was like you know what fuck it i'm so over this i don't want to be in a relationship with you i'm done whatever we broke up and then a week after we broke up i got like a dm a day before me and him broke up but i didn't see until a week after because i wasn't following the person and so the dm went into private and it was some shorty and shorty was like hey um i know you don't know me but i want to ask you a question and i was like what's up and then she goes um this can't is not something i want to talk about on instagram can i call you and i was like okay whatever give her my number and she was asking me she goes so whenever i ask fuckboy about you he goes oh you're so beautiful you're like his best friend ray tay tay but whenever i ask about any other girl he's always calling them a hoe saying that bitch is whack whatever and i'm like oh, okay well that's nice that he still says nice things about me you know and i was like so what's the issue here why are you so curious about what he says about me and what he doesn't and then she goes because i'd like to know what you guys relationship what is and i was well i was like oh as for last week we broke up and she goes sorry what i was like yeah we broke up i'm like why mind you shorty's 18 years old she was like oh me and him been together since april i was like huh <laughs> I was like what she's like yeah me and him has been together since april and i was like oh i didn't know that last thing i knew he said he was single and that's why i got into a so-called relationship with him which is only one month but i don't care it doesn't concern me so now that's your business i don't care and then i was like you know what? i'm not with him it doesn't really bother me i don't care i got pissed off when the girl said that she was his girlfriend since april i started dating him and while we were together he had a side thing he had a side thing and a baby mom's whose four months pregnant for him. And I was like, what do you mean? And then that got me so pissed off that <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so mad in my life that I literally wanted to like find out where he lived and like murder him. Like that's how pissed off I was. I was like, you're a grown ass man. You're 20 fucking five turning 26 in less than a week. And you're playing child games, not with me, but with your fucking self. So me being me and me being Grace, I texted him and I paged him about it. I'm trying to find the text messages. I texted him about it and I told him, I was like, are you fucking whack or are you whack like what do you mean you have a girlfriend while you're with me and then he's gonna lie about it he goes i don't know what you're talking about i don't have a girlfriend that girl's a liar she's my ex-girlfriend who's obsessed with me and i was like bro i've heard it all what do you mean she's your ex-girlfriend who's obsessed with you anyways i cussed this guy i cussed the shit out of him that day that he even got to the point where he called me and he puts the girl on the phone and he's gonna confess to me how he loves me that he's sorry and then tell the girl right after on the three-way conversation that he's sorry and he loves her too and i'm like nigga who do you love and who are you apologizing to like you don't even know what you want like you don't know what you're doing so anyways i stopped talking to him because it got to the point where i was just annoyed every day it was just his issue i was pissed off and then he's gonna have the audacity to tell me not to talk to the girl and i was like you don't pay my phone bill you can't tell me who to talk to and who not to talk to let's get that right like you just can't do it so i just stopped talking to the girl in general i didn't really give a fuck like i gave zero fuck i stopped talking to her i stopped talking to him in general and then like i don't know where like m a month later somebody called my line saying oh how he did the same thing he did to me to another girl somebody made a page like a web page with his picture i'm gonna find it and i'll put i'll put the link in the description box for real guys somebody made a web page about him and made like this mean ass paragraph like it is awful like it is awful so he's not he hasn't done this to just me he's done it to a lot of girls in the gta and it's sad like it's super sad so if i'm not gonna say his name but i will post the link in the description box if you do see this man in the gta stay the fuck away from him because he's a rat he's a pig he's disgusting and he's just 
I don't know. He's just fucked up. And if you do watch this video and you feel the need to come harass me, please do. Please fucking come harass me because finally I could put my hands on you and you can catch his motherfucking fades. But you know what? I'm done with this story time because there's so much more I could say but I don't want to go in detail because this video will be too long. But if you guys do like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see other story time of my life, add me on Snapchat. I'm always always ranting on snapchat about something and there's always a story time on my snapchat so add me on snapchat and also feel free to add me on twitter and follow me on instagram well follow me on twitter follow me on instagram add me on snapchat and if you're new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out girl or boy <laughs> hit the button and last but not least if this is if you missed my last video or any of my previous video click the link in the description box or click the link to my channel and check out all my great video thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.